a warm welcome students we will begin with new voices chapter number 8 the pandavas in exile let's listen to the summary yes in hastinapur there lived two brothers dhritarashtra and pandu though pandu was younger he was enthroned as the king because the trastra was blind pandu had five sons they were called the pandavas the trastra had 100 sons with duryodhan being the eldest and they were called as the kauravas after trying various ways to get rid of his cousins from poison to fire finally duryodhan duryodhan's maternal uncle shakuni devised a plot to trap pandavas and take away their kingdom through deceit shakuni a master player in chaucer arranged this game and its rules yudhishthir happily agrees for the game but he is defeated and ends up losing not only his entire kingdom but also his brothers along with his own self and their queen draupadi the pandavas had to follow the conditions as they lost their game with their cousins kauravas yes so this lesson is telling us about kauravas and pandavas who are they who they were cousins thus losers in the deceitful act of gambling and insulted by kauravas the pandavas started for their exile in forests for 12 years and one year was for incognito vidur told yudhishthir to allow mother kunti to stay back as she was old and weak yudhishthir agreed draupadi however accompanied her husbands to the forest in the due course of time an incident took place in the life of pandavas they were chasing a deer and they wandered very far from their place of dwelling after a certain point of time they decided not to follow the deer and they sat down under a tree as they were very thirsty yudhishthir sent sadeva to bring some water for all of them but he did not return for a long time now nakul was sent in search of sadev but he also did not return similarly the other two brothers bima and arjuna were sent but even they did not return finally yudhishthir himself went in search of his brothers upon reaching the forest pool he found his four brothers laid on the ground as though dead for a long time yudhishthir wept for them and finally he was dragged by the thirst and wanted to quench his thirst by drinking the pool's water no sooner he went near it he heard a voice 
What did he hear? He heard a voice. The voice of Yaksha who wanted to ask him several questions and in return of the correct answers, Yaksha promised to revive any one of his brothers. Yudhishthir answered all the questions correctly and Yaksha was pleased by his wisdom. Then Yaksha asked him as to which brother he wanted to revive. Yudhishthir looked at the unconscious forms of his brothers and was hard for him to decide. But he said, O kind Yaksh, restore to me my brother Nakul. Yudhishthir also told Yaksh, instead it would be unfair if I looked to my own gain and ask for Arjun's life or Bhim's life in the place of Nakul. When Yudhishthir said so, in no time there appeared before him a shining crowned person and he was Yudhishthir's heavenly father Yama. He told Yudhishthir that he had come to help Pandavas in their hour of need and was pleased with his noble conduct and wisdom. So he restored to life not just one of the brothers but all of them and also promised them that he will protect them in their hardships. At the end he advised Yudhishthir to go with his brothers Andropadi to Matse, where the king Virat ruled and to live there in disguise. So this is the summary of the lesson. Now let's begin with the revision part. For revision we are going to do some of the exercises and some of the questions from these of the exercises. So children get ready with your book and pen. Yes, exercise A which is on page number 86. Let's begin. Mark these sentences as true, T or false, F. Number 1. The Pandava brothers were in a forest. Answer is true. Yes. So, I can write T for true or I can write full spelling. Next. Number 2. The Pandava brothers were with Draupadi. True or false? Yes. Answer is true. Number 3. The Pandava brothers found a waterfall in the forest. True or false? False. Yes, so we will write F. We can write F also or we can write full spelling of false. Yes, children? The brothers drank water from a polluted pool. False. Very good. What is the answer? False. Next, the brothers became more energetic after drinking the water. False. Next, Yama advised 
युधिष्ठिर टू गो विथ हिस ब्रदर्स टू मत से ट्रू वेरी गुड वॉट इज द आंसर ट्रू ओके सो वी हैव डन विद दिस एक्सरसाइज ए वी मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन विथ रेफरेंस टू द कॉन्टेक्स्ट यू डिस्टर लुक्ड एट द अनकॉन्शियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ हिस ब्रदर्स इट वॉज हार्ड फॉर हिम टू डिसाइड बट ही स्पोक एट लास्ट Which brothers are being referred to here? You discuss unconscious brothers are being referred here. We go to next. Why were they unconscious? What's the answer? They had not paid any heed to the yaksha. Yes, the yaksha's warning. Next, what was hard for him to decide? It was hard for Yudhishthir to choose between one of his brothers. It was a difficult choice. What did he decide in the end? He decided. to get nakul's life restored yes next we move on to vocabulary in this we have to do write synonyms for let's begin with number 1 preference what is the synonym for preference liking can you give me one sentence with the word preference yes when it comes to music everyone has their own preferences okay so same way you have to frame sentence and also try to write down with the given synonyms next number 2 startle the synonym for startle surprise i'll give you one more sentence she was concentrating on her work and her friend's voice startled her number 3 dwelling habitat number 4 deceit dishonest next intense powerful let us frame one more sentence with the word intense yes she had an intense desire to become a pilot okay next he did understood she he did all my instructions carefully next pursuit inquiry next verily tensely next ignore neglect let's frame one more sentence with ignore yes let us learn to ignore silly things in our day to day life yes now we move on to next one let's see give antonyms for number 1 sustain what is the antonym harm gratitude ingratitude embrace release personage 
non celebrity hesitation confidence disguise reality noble ignoble dazed active desire dislike okay children so here we come to the end of revision of lesson number 8 the pandavas in exile thank you see you in the next session till then bye